Fjord's temple we can use in daylight. The Einher Yar are holding fair in your father's own temple. It's been empty for as long as I can remember. There's a celestial altar across the river. According to Bigfear, the altars were once used to signal the wolves. And now we have just the scepter to do it. When we reach the temple, I'll fire off the beacon. A signal for Vela and Birger to set off their distraction. The Dark Elf Hive. Nice to not be on the receiving end of it for once. With their attention drawn elsewhere, you and I can assault the main force from behind. While Atreus and Hildesfini slip in to rescue your brother in the confusion. Yes. Once we see their beacon, we'll regroup by the river and escape on Freyr's boat. Rallied more soldiers since our last visit. Hmm. Our disadvantages are many.
Try dragging the scepter across the bell a few times. Come on, we're making good time. Actions in this realm follow the prophecy of the giants. Atreus believes Ragnarok is inevitable. The Norns were quite clear on the nature of prophecy. They told us the sum of our choices were predictable. But we have changed, haven't we? Perhaps. Careful, brother! The Norn said you'd kill Heimdall. But you chose not to walk that path. Back when we first met, I doubt you'd have done the same. And you? Do you still seek Ragnarok? Odin has much to answer for. If Groa's prophecy is correct, perhaps my realm can finally know peace. Perhaps I can know peace. Forgive me for being a head on a belt, but haven't we all just established how prophecy is pure havers? Gods, Amir. What? The most annoying man alive. More up ahead. On your mark. Enemy behind you! Careful, brother! You're covered in bifrost!
This way. Alas, we're a meat hog. It was in our way. I don't doubt it. Curious, though. What was she doing here? Odin used roots of the World Tree as part of his spell that kept me from leaving Midgard. Neathhope protects the tree's roots, wherever they are. Ah, I see. Odin used her. And she unwittingly paid the price. Classic Odin. Maybe your spear can get us across. <laughs> Just make extra noise once the assault begins. If we distract them long enough, Hildespini and Atreus will have more than enough time to get in and out undetected. I am not worried for Atreus. He is ready to fight on his own. This is it. There's an altar behind these vines. <laughs> Call on Skull, please. Are you ready? I am. Are you? I'm not leaving here without my brother. <laughs> We're coming for you, Ingvi. Queen Mistletoe herself. Hilarious, by the way. Been a while. I'm done. And you must be the little half-breed's father. Lucky day! <laughs> you have a lot to answer for, Sunshine. You too, traitor. Better a traitor than Odin's lapdog. Hmm. Is mine. I can help. I know. But you are needed elsewhere. He's right, you know. Sizzles wasn't looking so hot last I saw. I know you didn't want this. But we know how this ends. <laughs> See you soon. Well, we both know that's not true. <laughs> but don't worry, Frigg. I'll be coming for you and your brother as soon as I am finished here. Now, what you got? So, yes, so, oh. Disappointed! Whoa! What did Kulto forever do to you? Having fun yet? Uh, 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 
What now, brother? The spear remains our best chance. Oh, wait! You expected the sting to give you an advantage? Hey! Careful! These are new breaks! Brought down by an old geezer's cane. Oh, 
is going on in that empty little head? Oh, no, 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 no. You are going to spare me out of pity! <laughs> Let it go and you may live. Is this about the little runt? Oh, now I am definitely going to gut him! <laughs> This is your final warning. I don't think a warning is going to cut it. You think you get to just walk away? No. That is not how this works. <laughs> You do not get to decide my fate! You are dead, sunshine. I don't know if we are breaking fate, or fate's breaking us. At least the rescue's going well. Mm. 
faces. <laughs> Relax. It's flying. We're flying. I knew it would do that. We have guests! That's the end of Birger. You think he survived that? He's down there picking the dirt out of his nails with the beast's feathers. You'll see. He... Uh, <laughs> he has to be. We're almost there, Ingvi. Just hold on a bit longer. I don't suppose I have much of a choice at the moment. and boiling water. Red root and lamb's grass. I know, I know. You think I never staunched a bleeder before? Oh, now don't you go worrying, boss. I didn't go through any of your stuff while you was off being tortured. Ah, damn it, Linda. Easy. Heck you says it made for. I ain't the one to stuff you like a damn pig. No offense. Freya, mind giving her a hand? We're just taking over entirely? Hold still. She'll just get you stable so I can take you to Sindri's house. The rest of my herbs are there. We'll protect the realm in your absence. The four of us. Vanaheim's in good hands. Party at Sindri's house, eh? Whoever that is. Your boat. Nope. Your boat. Come on, take it. Sail the skies, sun yourself on its bow. You look like you could use it. <laughs> Make a Vanir god proud. I gave you his boat? Nice. He left me no choice. Because it was necessary, not because it was written. <laughs> 